staying up late because it's the only you time that you get. I'm Sterling Jake with the Catholic Mom Coach, and today I want to talk about this, I don't want to call it a phenomenon, it's just a common thing that moms do where they're busy taking care of the kids all day, and then especially when there are older kids who stay up even later, then you stay up even later just to get any you time. And for a lot of you, you're aware that this isn't great, right? It's not great to stay up till midnight or one, whatever that time is for you. You wake up tired, you've underslept, you're not getting enough sleep, but you're so reluctant to let it go. There's this kind of desperate feeling because it does. Your brain thinks this is the only me time. So I've gotten this question several times in our membership, and I just wanted to answer it here. So first of all, staying up to a certain time, totally neutral thing. Some people stay up to 11, no big deal, right? I go to bed at 9 or 9.30, okay? I am a early to bed person. I need to be in bed for nine hours to maybe get eight hours of sleep. That's just where I'm at. And then I like to wake up early and I fought that forever and ever and ever and ever and ever of all time, but now I like it. And first of all, I wake up at six, so that's not even that crazy, but that's, that's my sleeping schedule. And I used to stay up late too. I would stay up reading on my Kindle or watching Netflix or something like that. And then I would be groggy and tired and my eyes would hurt. And I would kind of be kicking myself the next day. And the truth is, of course you want time to yourself. That is an absolutely valid thing to want, right? Just either a little bit of silence or a little bit of entertainment or that feeling of just checking out. We're just on so much that we want to be off. We don't want to feel like we're just working and serving from sunup to bedtime. And so we do have this kind of desperation around, oh, if I could just get some me time. And partly this is because obviously we're not fitting it in anywhere else. There's no other you time. I think a lot of you aren't setting boundaries with the kids. The kids just have access to you all the time, even at night. And then you feel like a bad mom to say no or to take time for yourself. So there's no rule book here about what bedtime is appropriate. There are some strongly suggested guidelines that you get eight hours of sleep. So I think, you know, collectively we can agree that that's probably good for most people, but even that, it's not a rigorous rule. But I think that the power that you have first is just recognizing, oh, the toddler part of my brain who just wants like candy and television and fun things, right? Just like toddlers wants to stay up, right? It's like, let's do it. It's fine. And first of all, because you're tired, you don't make great decisions already. Your problem solving, your ability to make decisions is just a little bit incapacitated compared to when you first wake up and you're bright and clear. So you're already like not making great decisions. Then if we add any alcohol into the mix, then we're even more incapacitated for making good decisions. We just want what sounds great right now. And if you're believing this thought, this is the only me time. This is the only time I get for me. How does it feel when you think that? You might feel desperate. You might feel anxious, graspy. You might feel sad. But whatever feeling you have, it's creating the action line of, screw it, I'm just going to stay up. So I want you to think, what feeling would you need to have to get to that moment where your toddler brain wants to go to sleep, but you override your toddler brain and you... I'm sorry, it wants to stay up. You override your toddler brain and you go to sleep. You do this all the time, right? There's things that you want all the time that you then go, nope, that's not the most mature version of me to do that. So we just want to flex this muscle at night, but while recognizing that being tired or having a drink of alcohol makes it harder to make that decision, but it's not impossible. You can do it. So the feeling for me might be willingness, 
actually the feeling I had that finally got me to, to just knock it off and stop staying up late was just love for myself. It was love for my tomorrow self. I had so much love and compassion for my tomorrow self. It was also for me inspiration. I wanted to build a million dollar business and I knew I was not going to get there without getting good sleep and waking up and knocking out a couple things before my kids woke up. So those are some things that I use to motivate me to override my, oh, I just want to stay up. And then the other thing that you can do is you can change your circumstance. So your thoughts create your feelings, but sometimes we can change our circumstance. It just makes it easier to have a different thought. For example, if you put you time on your calendar every day, then it will be harder to have the thought, this is the only time I get for me. Because you'll just think, you know, the me time is, is somewhere else. I think that we don't do a good enough job of enjoying or using our me time. I'm going to do another episode on that. And so, yeah, you want to stay up. Of course you do. And the reasons are it feels more fun than whatever else you think you get by not staying up. So figure out what you want in your life to be different and then make it very clear that you could have that by protecting your sleep and schedule you time somewhere else. Don't be the last thing on the list. Don't give yourself the dregs of the day. Love yourself more than just giving yourself the last hour of the day when you're already exhausted. It's not even great time anyway, especially that past your you know bedtime time. We almost always regret it. So just there are ways to just sear that into your memory. So I like to anchor myself to the pain of doing it and the thing that I get if I don't do it. It's easier to motivate yourself to avoid pain than it is to give yourself a reward. So I just like to use both. So I hope that helps a little bit. There were some suggestions in there. I want you to just kind of sit with them and think about what makes sense for you. But you don't have to do this. You don't have to stay up late if you don't want to. Right? You can give yourself better time. All right. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for listening and have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Catholic Mom Mindset. To learn more about growing closer to the Holy Spirit, check out our free resources at madeforgreatness.co. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day.